Space is unimaginably vast, so vast that even traveling at the speed of light, it would still take over four years to reach the nearest star system. Yet humanity's ambition to explore the cosmos grows even faster than the universe itself. But here's the question, how can we conquer space when we're limited by today's technology? The idea of traveling at light speed has captivated scientists, dreamers, and sci-fi enthusiasts for decades. It seems impossible now, but history has taught us that the impossible is often just the next great breakthrough waiting to happen. NASA is working hard to turn this dream into reality with revolutionary warp drive technology. But what exactly is warp drive, and how close are we to mastering it? Let's dive into this fascinating journey into the future of space exploration. Warp drive, a term straight out of science fiction, is no longer just a concept for movies like Star Trek. It's an idea grounded in physics, inspired by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. This theory revealed how space and time bend in response to matter and energy, and it's the foundation for physicist Miguel Alcubierre's warp drive concept proposed in 1994. Alcubierre's idea? Create a space-time bubble that contracts space ahead of the spacecraft while expanding it behind. The result? A vessel that doesn't technically move faster than light, but instead warps space to drastically shorten the distance between two points. Think of it like a magician pulling a tablecloth out from under dishes without disturbing them. The ship stays safe in the bubble while the fabric of space does all the work, but there's a catch, or several. First, the energy required for this feat is astronomical, far beyond anything currently available. Enter physicist Eric Lentz, who proposes an alternative. He suggests a soliton-shaped space-time bubble, akin to ripples on a pond, which could theoretically achieve similar results with conventional energy sources. If this theory holds up, it could revolutionize space travel, making light-speed journeys possible without breaking the laws of physics or NASA's energy budget. Despite these exciting theories, the challenges are immense. Warp drive technology would need shields to protect spacecraft from deadly particles encountered at such high speeds. Time distortion is another hurdle. A trip to Alpha Centauri might take just five days for astronauts, but over eight years for those left behind on Earth. Then there's the issue of navigation. Steering a vessel at light speed would require innovations far beyond anything we've yet imagined. NASA's ambitions to achieve warp drive technology or any form of faster than light travel may seem like a far off fantasy, but the agency's track record for turning science fiction into science fact is reason enough to believe in its potential. Internal reports and research initiatives reveal that NASA is not only intrigued by the theoretical concepts of warp drives, but is actively working to address the immense challenges they pose. While many may see the hurdles, such as the vast energy requirements, potential dangers to spacecraft, and time distortion effects, as insurmountable, history has shown that humanity's persistence and ingenuity can transform the seemingly impossible into reality. Take the moon landing, for instance. In the early 1960s, the idea of sending astronauts to the moon and bringing them back safely was considered almost absurd. It wasn't just a technological challenge. It was a test of human determination, international collaboration, and innovative thinking. The Apollo program faced countless obstacles, from developing a rocket powerful enough to escape Earth's gravity to ensuring that astronauts could survive in the harsh lunar environment. Despite these challenges, NASA succeeded in 1969, forever altering humanity's perception of what could be achieved. This monumental feat of exploration stands as a testament to the power of vision, perseverance, and the willingness to push the boundaries of what is known. Today, the challenges associated with warp drive technology are similarly daunting. For instance, the energy required to warp space-time as envisioned by the Alcubierre drive exceeds anything currently available in the universe. It's a roadblock that could easily deter efforts, yet NASA continues to explore alternative solutions. Physicists like Eric Lentz are reimagining how space-time manipulation might work, suggesting innovative approaches such as soliton-based bubbles, which could theoretically achieve the same effect with more manageable energy demands. These ideas are still in their infancy, but the fact that NASA is taking such concepts seriously indicates a commitment to exploring every possibility. As we look toward the future, 
The pursuit of warp drives serves as a reminder that no dream is too big if we are willing to put in the work to make it a reality. Whether it takes decades or centuries, NASA's commitment to exploring these concepts ensures that humanity will continue to reach for the stars. The quest for light speed travel is humanity's ultimate challenge, pushing the limits of our understanding, technology, and imagination. It's not a matter of if we'll achieve it, but when. And when we do, the stars will no longer be out of reach. They'll be within our grasp. But light speed travel isn't the only cosmic breakthrough NASA is working on. Did you hear about the jaw-dropping images of Jupiter that left scientists stunned? Click the video on your screen now to uncover this discovery. And don't forget to subscribe for more incredible explorations of the universe. Thanks for watching. What if I told you we could get to Mars in just three days? Sounds like science fiction, right? But with groundbreaking advances in space travel technology, this might soon be our reality. Traveling to Mars is no easy feat. There's a reason why humans have never set foot on the red planet. The journey is long, dangerous, and packed with challenges that make it one of the most ambitious missions humanity has ever considered. A round trip mission to Mars takes a staggering 21 months. Nine months to get there, three months on the planet, and another nine months to return. Every second of that journey translates into massive costs, physical tolls on the human body, and logistical hurdles. But what if we didn't have to wait that long? What if we could cut the journey time drastically? From nuclear rockets to ion engines and even photonic propulsion, revolutionary technologies are promising to redefine space travel as we know it. Let's start with the technology that's already making waves. SpaceX's Raptor engines. These next-generation engines burn liquid methane and liquid oxygen, producing immense thrust while being fully reusable, a game-changer for reducing costs and increasing efficiency. While this propulsion system could take us to Mars in about nine months, scientists and engineers are looking for ways to go even faster. Enter the nuclear-powered rocket, a concept that could cut travel time to just 90 days. By using uranium to generate heat, these rockets would produce twice the thrust of current chemical systems. Despite concerns about nuclear energy, modern safety measures and designs ensure minimal risks, especially since the reactor wouldn't even activate until the spacecraft left Earth's atmosphere. But what if 90 days isn't fast enough? That's where ion engines come in. By electrically accelerating ions to generate thrust, these futuristic engines could propel spacecraft at speeds of up to 200,000 miles per hour. Though the acceleration starts slow, once in the vacuum of space, ion engines deliver continuous propulsion. With this technology, a trip to Mars could take just 39 days, a significant leap forward. Among the many groundbreaking advancements in space travel, one concept stands out as truly revolutionary. Photonic propulsion systems. This technology, which uses particles of light known as photons to propel spacecraft, represents a paradigm shift in how we envision traveling through space. Imagine cutting the journey to Mars from the current nine months to just three days. It sounds like science fiction, but the principles behind photonic propulsion are grounded in real physics, and the implications of this technology could be nothing short of transformative for humanity's future in space. To understand how photonic propulsion works, we need to delve into the unique properties of photons. Unlike traditional propulsion systems that rely on chemical reactions or nuclear energy to generate thrust, photonic propulsion taps into the momentum carried by photons. While photons themselves are massless, they possess both energy and momentum. When these particles of light strike or reflect off a surface, their momentum is transferred, creating a small but measurable push. This phenomenon, often compared to a gentle but continuous nudge, is the principle that drives photonic propulsion. Now, you might wonder how such a seemingly tiny force could power an entire spacecraft. The answer lies in scalability and sustained acceleration. While the initial thrust generated by photons is minuscule compared to the explosive power of chemical rockets, photonic propulsion systems rely on the fact that in the vacuum of space, there's no air resistance or gravity to slow a spacecraft down. This means that even a small, constant force can build up incredible speeds over time. Given enough time and precision engineering, a spacecraft propelled by photons could reach extraordinary velocities, enabling it to cover vast distances in record time. One of the most promising concepts for harnessing photonic propulsion involves the use of highly concentrated laser beams. 
These lasers would be stationed on Earth or in orbit and directed at a lightweight spacecraft equipped with a highly reflective sail. This light sail, designed to capture the energy and momentum of the photons, would essentially be pushed forward by the laser's beam. The intense focused energy from the laser could accelerate the spacecraft to unprecedented speeds, potentially enabling it to reach Mars in just three days. Despite its immense promise, photonic propulsion is still in its infancy. Developing the necessary technology to generate, aim, and sustain powerful laser beams over vast distances presents significant technical challenges. The materials required for the light sails must be both ultra lightweight and highly reflective, capable of withstanding the intense energy of the laser without disintegrating. Additionally, there are concerns about aiming precision as even a slight deviation in the laser beam's trajectory could send the spacecraft off course. From cutting edge chemical engines to nuclear reactors, ion thrusters, and photonic propulsion, humanity is on the brink of a space travel revolution. These advancements could make Mars more accessible than ever and open doors to a future where interplanetary exploration becomes a regular part of our lives. What do you think about these futuristic methods of space travel? Which one excites you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content on the latest breakthroughs in space exploration. The future of humanity among the stars starts now.